Hey everybody, it's your pal Mike Zombie here with a review of Zone of the Dead. Now this is a movie I'd actually heard of probably about the time that it was released, but I had never seen it until now. It came out in 2009, and it stars Ken Furry! Yay! Zombie killer extraordinaire. One of our pals, one of the guys we love. And to tell the truth, I'm such a big Ken Free fan, I would probably go see a movie called Hi, My Name's Ken Free, and this is me talking about me. I'd go see it. I'd go, Ken, <laughs> you silly goose. I'd go see it. Anyway, all right, this movie starts off in uh, Yugoslavia 1985. They've uncovered a bunch of bodies where they're, like, making a building or something. They're trenching up a building ready, for, I guess, for the foundation. Anyway, uh, find a bunch of bodies. One of them appears to be a zombie. Then they cut to Serbia 2010 without really an explanation. But suddenly, ta-da, 2010, we're in Serbia. And this is where the cast gets introduced, the main cast. And I'm purposely going to try to not give too much away because I did enjoy this movie, and I want you to see it and enjoy it for yourself. So what I will say, it's a zombie meets lethal weapon meets kind of thing. Ken is part of a team of special, I guess, police that are escorting a prisoner from Belgrade to England. And as we've come to expect in like a lethal weapon type of movie, Ken is on his last case. He is just about to retire. And of course, this one's a real pain in the ass uh, because Mel Gibson's running around screaming about Jewish people. No, wait, wait, no. That was something else. Hold on. Ken and his partner meet up with the, the team and the prisoner just at the onset of this zombie outbreak. I'm not going to get into it. It just happens, and they're everywhere. Okay. Now, this movie is much better than what I've been watching recently in the fact that the special effects are really nice. The acting is pretty good. Though I was thrown a little bit at first, um, many of the accents you, you hear, you see people talking, but you really believe their voices were overdubbed because it just doesn't sound quite right. But I'll throw some sound out the window if everything else works pretty well. So the movie kind of tells the tale of this group who's trying to transport the prisoner. And, of course, they're trying to do this in the middle of a zombie apocalypse. During the movie, I wondered if there was more than one person in charge of zombies and direction and so forth. And watching the credits, it did turn out that two people, whose names I'm, I would butcher if I tried to say them, did direct the movie. I think it's kind of evident when you watch the zombies. Some zombies are slow and lumbering, and others are just running their asses off like we'd see in 28 Days Later. Though some would dispute if those are zombies or not. We can have that talk later. What I'm saying is... These two guys come together to make an interesting movie, these two directors do. Now, it wasn't all roses and candy. Uh, I didn't like the fact that Ken was made to repeat his Dawn of the Deadline, and you know what that is. He's got a signature line, and they make him do it. I don't like that. I also didn't like the fact that they had a character in this who is a martial arts expert. He's kind of crazy. He walks around and just with a crap load of weapons and quotes the Bible as he shoots everybody away for no reason. There wasn't any reason for this guy to be in the movie. We've seen him in other movies, too, this kind of character. I don't like it. I'd love to get deeper into the plot, but it would kind of give too much away. Like I said, I did like this movie. It had real production value, it had good special effects, and the writing was pretty decent. On occasion, it would stray left or right and kind of lose my interest, but overall, it held it pretty well. So I would say definitely... Check out Zone of the Dead, especially if you're a Ken Faree fan, especially if you're a zombie fan. It was a decent movie. A movie, in fact, where Ken blurts out, Die, you zombie bastards! It's pretty good stuff, folks. Okay, and this is me coming back after I've listened to my review. I just realized it's kind of funny. If I don't really much care for a movie, I'll almost tell you the, the start-to-finish plot. Uh, if I like the movie, I don't say too much about it because I want you to see it. My apologies. I did like this one. It's not just because of Ken, though he is a good reason to see it. Anyways, enjoy the film. Uh, you're going to, yeah, enjoy it. All right, that's my review. See ya.